Good morning, Homestead Mechanics. Today we need to modify the rear weight bracket for my John Deere. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now here's the tractor weight bracket as delivered to me by John Deere. It only holds two weights. And it uh, works pretty good. And this bracket's nice and solid. Uh, I sure wish it would uh, handle four weights. The, the X300, X500, X700 series lawn garden tractors, they do have a four weight bracket. And I was tempted to buy that one, but I had no way of knowing whether the the, their chassis wider or whether it would line up. I, I knew this one would line up and after uh, uh, thinking about it for a while I finally concluded how I could uh, make this one here handle four maybe even six tractor weights. Okay so this is my first rendition. Uh, I used a a one eighth inch bar, but uh, uh, the problem is, but the problem is, I got more than an eighth of an inch. I got about half inch in this crack, and you can see how these things are sagging. Of course, that doesn't hurt anything. It's just uh, uh, the way it looks. But uh, I think the idea is still valid. Now somehow I was out and about using my tractor with one weight and somehow I bent the hell out of this bar. I, uh, I bent it back in shape but it, it told me that uh, eighth of an inch isn't all that strong and so I need to use something a little heavier. So I went down to the house of Homer and uh, he was selling these uh, uh, 3 by 3 sixteenths uh, bars. And uh, the other one's one eighth, so this is essentially eighth and a half, uh, but it but it still allows a lot of slop. The tractor weight uh, slot, mounting slot, hanging slot. So I got another one. So you put the both of them together, and that'll give you three eighths inch. And how much did I? And how much space is there in that slot? One half inch. So that'll be perfect. So that'll be a three eighths, and I'll have one in eight inch clearance play. That'll work. Let's get to drilling. Okay, we got our two bars lined up together, and I bolted them together with some small machine screws to make sure they don't move during this hole punching operation. Let's see if we get it over here. Get it. Fine. All right, so I took this old bar and I marked where these two holes are on the new bar. Transferred that that number, that location, so that it will line up perfectly. All right. So what I did was I, I put a couple of machine screws in each end because I want to make sure these, these bars are perfectly parallel and end to end and all that. So 
now. Sometimes on metal you'll have a curly Q start, and all I've seen them come off for uh, uh, a foot or two. And uh, you really don't want that to keep coming out because the thing, it, it could uh, jump out at you and hit you in the eye or, or up your nose or something. So uh, what, what I found is uh, while you're drilling, while you're pressing, even if you're using a hand drill, uh, all you got to do is release pressure and hit it again. And uh, it'll, it'll snap that curly cue off right now. And uh, that, that's what you want to do. Probably wouldn't hurt to add a little oil to this. Although, I got quite a mess there. Knock off all my shavings. There we go. All this is is just a, a ketchup bottle from Walmart with some motor oil in it. Some old dirty motor oil I was throwing out. You know, I got some chainsaw chain oil, which is about the same consistency, except it's sticky, and it doesn't tend to, to run off as quick as this stuff does. I'm tempted to use it, but that stuff's kind of pricey. I don't want to throw it away. when you're punching through steel. That ought to do it. Now remember, never tighten any fastener until all fasteners are started. That's true whether you're using a bolt and a nut, just bolts, just sheet screws. You'll thank yourself. Can't tell you how many times over the years I started putting something together, start by cinching down the first bolt or two. And then I put in a couple of more and all of a sudden the, the holes don't line up.
This is a great tool for running up bolts, but it doesn't have a terrible lot of torque. So what you want to do is snug them all. There's my nut I was missing. You want to just snug up all of them then get you a grown-up wrench like this. I don't know, this here is a nice uh, ratchet. My wife bought that for me for my birthday. When we were newlyweds, and I was attending diesel truck school at the community college, this is an SK Wayne 40170. I don't know if they even make this thing anymore. I just recently replace the ratchet head. It was kind of half-ass broke and uh, didn't work quite right. It would tighten but it wouldn't loosen and I had fought with that for many years. Finally I knuckled down and did what I had to do. SK Wayne has now been bought by some other tool company. I can't remember their name but I called them or I went on their website, I was afraid that they was going to tell me to, uh, they'll be happy to sell me a new wrench. But uh, in fact, they, uh, they said, just send us a model number. And they did, and they sent me free charge, even paid the shipping uh, for a new ratchet head. That's sweet. Get our weights on there. Oh, yeah, see, now they sit a lot more level. Or before they were sitting about like that. There we go. Now I got an extra 160 pounds on the there. Yeah, I was saying earlier that uh, this tractor gets stuck a lot with all my my uneven land. Not just here. I, I, I go back through the woods and. The backyard near the big hill and, and all that. Uh, first thing I did to fix the getting stuck part, I, I put these ag tires on. They help quite a bit, but not enough. So I bought the weight bracket and put uh, two weights on it, and that helped a little more, but not enough. And uh, so I was at uh, Harbor Freight. And I saw this uh, little baby winch, uh, 70 bucks. Boy, you can't go wrong with a baby winch like that. So baby, baby winch and these two uh, sleeve uh, hitches. And there I, I spent about 15 or $18 a piece for both of them on Amazon, the hitches. And then I just, just created a... Uh, a bar and a flat bar and a uh, right here's a piece of angle iron to mount the uh, fair lead and uh, worked pretty good. And I got a connector right there and uh, so I want it right here so if, if I put the the winch on the back or I put the winch on the front I got the electrical connection coming out in the middle of the tractor so that my cable will, will reach either in the front, uh, when I mount it in the front, or I mount it in the back right there. i got to admit, uh, uh, the cable, all that is is a, is a pretty good quality jumper cable. Uh, I snipped the clips off of the end. And uh, truth is, I, I snipped it just a little bit shorter than I should have. But it just does fit on the back. The, but uh, anyway, and then I... I got my thing right here, and uh, got a got it wired through a relay, and it's right off the battery, and it works real good. Well, one thing I'm I'm reluctant to do 
is uh, uh, you run the winch when the engine's running. Now, I have run the winch just to spool up the, uh, the cable with no load with the engine running. But uh, I don't know. This, uh, this winch might draw so much juice uh, with the engine running, uh, you could pop your alternator. I, I don't know if that would really happen. It just seems that it's probable that it, it might. And uh, I, I don't need to do that. So, uh, so far, I've, I've been in a situation where I've done quite a bit of winching. Uh, right off the battery and, and the battery hasn't gone low. I've always had enough power to uh, start the tractor, but but I do Try to not winch too much and get the engine get the tractor running uh, To recharge what I've what I've tapped out of it with the winch, but uh, it's worked real good uh, That winch not only does it pull this tractor this tractor is uh, uh, 700 and something or 800 with the uh, uh, well, well the tractor is 500 uh, this this shovel is 125, so now we're at 625. This is uh, what at least 25, so that'd be 650. Uh, these tires must weigh a little more, so they probably add another 20 pounds. So we'll be at 670, and then I now I got 160 pounds. Uh, 730, you're about 830 pounds. And uh, uh, so anyway, uh, so the, the, the weight can add up pretty, pretty quickly. Anyway, we got this, pro this, this project finished, and it uh, uh, looks like it came out pretty well, and I still got room for uh, one or two more if, if I so desire. All right, homestead mechanics, we'll see you on the next video. I appreciate you dropping by and watching my video. And uh, uh, I uh, edited out all the cursing and gnashing of teeth so you wouldn't have to suffer through all that. Thanks again. Happy trails.